Dear students, in this video, we will explain the RTA Smart Yard Test to help you pass it easily. The Smart Yard Test is divided into five maneuvers, the Slope Test, Emergency Brake Test, Parallel Parking Test, Garage Parking Test, and Angle Parking Test. We provide a thorough explanation of each maneuver to ensure your comprehension. However, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask your instructor or leave a comment. Currently, as per RTA test score sheet, there are three possible ways to fail this test. However, it's advisable to stay updated on any future changes to this test criteria. Disqualification. Disqualification occurs when any of the following actions take place during the Smart Yard test maneuvers. Number one, failure to properly close the door or opening the door during the examination. Number two, neglecting to fasten the seatbelt or releasing it during the examination. Number three, exceeding the maximum speed limit of 35 kilometers per hour. Number four, involvement in a collision with any object. Number five, in a manual car if the engine stalls three times due to improper clutch usage. Number six, exceeding the total examination time of 20 minutes. Number seven, if the student will not move the vehicle from the start point for more than five minutes. Engaging in any of these actions will result in disqualification from the entire set of maneuvers and the smart yard test. Immediate fails. Immediate fails will apply for a major fault and will result in failure of that particular maneuver where it occurred. Demerit points. Two demerit points are recorded for a minor fault. More than four demerit points in a maneuver will lead to the failure of that specific maneuver. Additionally, there are some important points to highlight. Number one, for safety reasons, avoid applying excessive force on the accelerator pedal as this can cause the engine to rev above 3,000 revolutions per minute and result in engine stalling. Number two, if the vehicle does not detect the sensor marker for a specific maneuver, do not attempt the maneuver. Instead, continue with the other maneuvers and return later to complete the pending one. Number three, if the engine stalls for any reason, use handbrake and shift the gear to P or neutral position and then restart the vehicle. Number four, please note that the reference points shown in this video may vary depending on your height and seat adjustment. Your instructor will provide further guidance to help you understand the appropriate reference points. Once you're inside the vehicle, adjust your seat position and backrest to ensure comfortable access to the foot and hand controls. Fasten your seatbelt and avoid unfastening it until you have completed the test. Adjust the mirrors so you can see the front door handle from the bottom inside corner. Once you are ready, show your thumb to the camera. The tab will announce, Examination has started. Please drive to start point. Shift gear from parking to reverse for automatic. For manual, neutral to reverse and release the handbrake. Check your mirrors and surroundings before moving the vehicle to ensure there is no vehicle or person around to prevent any kind of collision. When approaching the slope sensor marking, you will hear the announcement. This is the slope test. The duration for the slope test is 90 seconds and the timer begins when the front bumper crosses the white entry line. Once you see the back white line appear between both the door handles as seen in the side mirror, stop your vehicle and engage the handbrake. Your vehicle should stop between the two lines. To proceed in manual vehicle, carefully balance the accelerator and clutch pedals until you reach the friction point. Then release the handbrake and proceed forward. In an automatic vehicle, accelerate to 1,500 revolutions per minute before releasing the handbrake. Demerit points. Each minor fault incurs two demerit points for the following. Number one, 
if you do not apply the handbrake after stopping. Number two, if your vehicle rolls back between 15 and 30 centimeters. Number three, if you move without fully releasing the handbrake. Immediate fails. An immediate failure will be issued for each major fault in the following cases. Number one, stopping the vehicle on the white line or yellow line. Number two, vehicle rolling back 30 centimeters or more. Number three, in a manual car if the engine stalls twice due to improper clutch use. Number four, taking more than 90 seconds to complete the maneuver. When approaching the emergency brake sensor marking, you will hear the announcement. This is the emergency brake test. The test time begins as the vehicle reads the sensor marking, which lasts for 90 seconds. In a manual vehicle, ensure your car is in second gear. Accelerate to reach an ideal speed of 25 kilometers per hour. As the vehicle crosses the white entry line, you will hear the beep. Immediately, apply the brake while firmly gripping the steering wheel with both hands. After stopping for a few seconds, carefully check your surroundings and exit from the emergency brake test area. Immediate fails. An immediate failure will be given for each major fault. One, touching the entry line at a speed below 20 kilometers per hour. Two, applying the brake before touching the entry line or before hearing the beeping sound. Three, touching or crossing the exit line without braking. Four, in a manual car, pressing the clutch before the brake or pressing both pedals. Five, failing to stop the vehicle within the designated distance. 6. Not holding the steering wheel with both hands. 7. In a manual car, experiencing engine stalls twice due to improper clutch use. 8. Taking more than 90 seconds to complete the maneuver. When you approach the sensor marking for angle parking, the tab will announce This is the angle parking test. Aim to position the vehicle as close to the center line as possible. The duration of this test is two minutes and the timer starts when the right indicator is activated. Perform the necessary safety checks. The first reference point to consider is when the first parking line is visible beneath the right side mirror frame. Turn the steering wheel completely to the right. Continue moving slowly. The second reference point is when the left inside corner aligns with the top part of the steering wheel or when the left side mirror frame is aligned with the left yellow parking line. Return the steering wheel to straight position and continue moving forward. The third reference point is when the white parking line aligns with the driver's door handle as observed in the left side mirror. Bring the vehicle to a stop. Shift to neutral for manual transmission or P position for automatic transmission and apply the handbrake. The tab will announce Exit from the parking bay. To exit, select the reverse gear, release the handbrake, and indicate to the right. Perform the necessary safety checks. Slowly move out until the left side mirror frame aligns with the left yellow sideline. Turn the steering wheel completely to the right to exit the parking lot. As you approach the garage parking sensor marking, the tab will announce, This is the garage parking test. You should position the vehicle close to the center line as much as possible. The duration of this test is three minutes, and the time starts when you select the reverse gear. Apply the right indicator, perform the safety checks, and then reverse slowly. As soon as the second parking corner passes the back window text, use it as the reference point to turn the steering wheel completely to the right. Continue reversing slowly while checking both side mirrors until the vehicle enters the parking lot. When both side gaps are almost equally visible in the side mirrors, rotate the steering wheel back to straight position. Continue reversing slowly until the rear parking line comes beneath the driver's door handle 
as seen in the left side mirror, and then stop the vehicle. Shift gear to neutral for manual or P position for automatic and apply the handbrake. The tab will announce Exit from the parking bay. Select forward gear, release the handbrake, indicate to the right, and perform the safety checks. Move out straight slowly until the left side parking line aligns with your left shoulder. Turn the steering wheel completely to the right to exit from the parking lot. When you approach the parallel parking sensor marking, the tab will announce This is the parallel parking test. Position your vehicle slightly to the right of the lane as seen through the right side mirror. The duration of this test is 5 minutes, and the time starts when you select the reverse gear. Apply right indicator. Perform the safety checks, and then reverse slowly. The reference points are when the parking curve disappears from the right side mirror. Turn the steering wheel completely to the right and continue reversing slowly until the white parking line comes beneath the driver's door handle. Rotate the steering wheel completely to the left and keep reversing until the vehicle is positioned in the parking lot as seen in the both side mirrors. Stop the vehicle. Shift the gear to neutral for manual or P position for automatic and apply the handbrake. Tab will announce Exit from the parking bay. Now to exit, select forward gear, release the handbrake and apply left indicator. Perform the safety checks and move out slowly from the parking lot. As the vehicle's right side pillar aligns with the yellow parking line, turn the steering wheel to the right to exit completely. Two demerits are recorded for the following each minor fault. Number one, not using the indicator when entering or exiting the parking bay. Number two, not performing the safety checks when entering or exiting the parking bay. Number three, performing dry steering. Number four, taking an additional move in parallel, angle, and garage parking. Number five, not engaging neutral gear for manual or P position for automatic after parking inside the bay. Number six, moving the vehicle without releasing the handbrake completely. Immediate fails. An immediate fail will apply for the following each major fault. Number one, touching the parking lines by any part of the vehicle. Number two, positioning the vehicle outside the parking bay. Number three, not applying the handbrake after parking inside the bay. Number four, in manual car if the engine stalls twice due to improper use of clutch. Number five, if you exceed the allotted time to complete the maneuver. Number six, if you make a front entry into the parking bay for parallel and garage parking and a back entry for angle parking. Once you have successfully completed all the maneuvers, bring the vehicle back to the finish point. You will hear the announcement. The test has finished. At the finish point, to ensure a successful final maneuver, it is crucial to shift to neutral in manual or parking for automatic and then apply handbrake. Refrain from turning off the engine. Release the seatbelt, open the door, and exit the vehicle. Please collect test results from the waiting room. Goodbye. We trust that you found this video tutorial informative and helpful. As you prepare to take your smart yard test, it is important to remember the key concepts that were discussed in this tutorial. Be sure to review the materials thoroughly. By doing so, you will be well prepared and confident as you approach the test day. Galadari Motor Driving Center, confidence for life.